Hello and welcome to Nollywood Fellow, a channel where I take you through Nollywood films. And it is Femi Adebayo season. This is his third movie in a row that I'll be reviewing on this channel. After Jagun Jagun and Mikolo, it's time for Underbelly. Now this is a movie from last year, but it's just released on Prime Videos in Nigeria, and uh, for some reason it's not available in, in India. Amazon, why you do this na? But then I have VPN, so I checked it out. So the movie Underbelly is directed by uh, Toka McBarrer, who gave us uh, Dark October at the start of this year. Uh, that was the second movie I reviewed on this channel, by the way. And there are striking similarities between this movie and that movie, uh, both being around these protagonists in an unfamiliar area where there is uh, danger lurking. Talking of Underbelly, this movie won the award for the best production design in the AMAA Awards 2022 and it's uh, really well deserved. The grungy, smoky visual language that runs throughout the movie enhances its, its dark theme and uh, it effectively creates an environment of fear and uncertainty that is very integral to the, the story. That is being told. The, the story is set in the late 70s where the protagonist Ojo goes to northern Nigeria to work in a tannery along with his friend Afang and uh, his main aim is to create enough money to be able to attend the Festac festival which is one of the biggest music festivals that used to happen around that time in Lagos. Uh, so while Ojo is a hard-working, focused individual, Afang on the other hand is a slacker and a womanizer and a troublemaker. So in this new place where Ojo and Afang coming as uh, strangers, things are not as they seem and uh, before you know it, trouble starts brewing. And uh, then what happens is is what the movie is all about. The character sketches are beautifully written. You do under you do get to understand their uh, fears and motivations. The screenplay it does hold your attention, and with a running time of one hour twenty three minutes, the movie is to the point, and it is well supported by the movie's music as well. But despite all of that the story lacks meat. Yes, it builds the fears and uncertainties beautifully, but where it goes after that is a bit of a letdown. In terms of performances, Femi Adibayo as Ojo is convincing. Stan Inze uh, shines as a very prominent character who is an Igbo bar owner. Uh, Smart Conrad as Afang is uh, cheeky and lives up to the character. The other actors too have done a really good job. In conclusion, I'd say that the movie excels in many departments, but despite all of that, Underbelly on the whole is slightly underwhelming. Now that's it for me for this time. Till next time, this is me, Nolly Goodfellow, signing off. Uh, do let me know what you thought about the movie in the comments do like share subscribe and do hit the bell icon so that you get notifications every time my videos come out and that's it from me till next time ciao